what's better than new bike day? Not a whole lot, but I can tell you what I'm feeling pretty excited about is new tire day. Hey guys, uh, today is a new tire day, so I should be uh, getting some tires on my mailbox here. Uh, some Maxxis Asagai and a DHX2 for the rear. Uh, let's go check and see if we got them. Oh, we got a key. World Ed Cyclery. Thank you, Worldwide Cycler. Here's my new tires. I'm going to put them on my 2018 Transition Smuggler that came from them as well. This is a uh, Asagai 29 2.5 wide tread with a uh, fully loaded sidewall. 3C Max Chair XO TR. It's everything but double down. It's on the front. Um, heard a lot of good things about these tires on the internet. Um, now I get to try it for myself and see exactly how they work. Looks like it's going to be a really good tire. Looks like they put on um, intermediate base knobs. On a DHF, you get that lean and you have to trust that you're going to hook this knob here. But here it looks like you're going to get a nice intermediate grab. And the tire I chose with their recommendation uh, for the rear, I've been riding aggressors or recons for a long time now. And for a rear tire, I decided to go with the Maxxis Minion DHR2 29 2.4 wide tread with the uh, fully loaded sidewall as well. Um, this is not a double down tire. I weigh 170 pounds and I like 5'11". So hopefully I don't go through a lot of tires. I have had a bad run of uh, pinch flatting um, tires at like 28 PSI. Um, but, you know, it hasn't happened for a while. These tires are going to go on a set of um, i9 Enduro 305 rims. So the rims are wide enough for these. And I'm hoping that I get a nice little uh, grip on these. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Put these out in the garage, get my bike prepped, and uh, we'll get to go into putting these on. And the great thing about Max's tires on those Enduro 305 rims is I can seat these with uh, stands and a floor pump, no problem. Uh, and here is those tires mounted on that smuggler. Uh, DHR2, brand new, never ridden. There you go, can't wait to try that baby out. Uh, and the uh, ass guy that everybody's been uh, hyped up about, and uh, well, we'll get, uh, get you guys a... Uh, review over what that really feels like so i wanted to show you my bike um she's beautiful she will be at the sedona mountain bike festival for three days this year and uh if you guys uh see me hit me up and uh say hi otherwise uh i'll catch you on the flip side so uh some feedback on those tires i took them for a ride today over lunch and uh they are amazing i don't know if it's because i was riding bald ass shit before um, between a DHR that's a year old and a uh, recon aggressor that I keep swapping back and forth depending on how uh, often I have to put bacon strips in them. But the bike absolutely hooked up today very well over loose over hard. It felt very stable and uh, hey, I didn't pinch flat. I didn't get anything wrong. So it, uh, it worked out great. Um, I can give you guys thumbs up for that aggressor, or not the aggressor, but the Askai uh, front a great tire i don't know about running on the rear it's super grippy and i kind of like my rear end to be able to drift a little bit uh and, and not have a hook so hard but it definitely gives you confidence on the front end um really really good um i got that recommendation from easton over at worldwide cyclery he uh basically said this is a tire you want to go to and uh tried to talk tried to talk myself into going back with a uh aggressor on the uh rear or a dissector, but the dissectors were out of stock like they always are. And um, he ended up talking me into and, and kind of recommending that DHR2, which I've ridden before, and I actually forgot how good of a tire that is. It's actually uh, lighter than the uh, DHF, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. And um, it rolls pretty dang good. It doesn't roll as good as a recon, doesn't roll as good as a aggressor or a recon race, but it's not that kind of tire, guys. It's going to be uh, more of that enduro trail bike tire that, that you, uh, you kind of grow to love just for the traction and you, uh, you bear with it on the climbs. Anyway, I can give you guys a full on thumbs up for that tire, that tire combination, the Askai front with the DHR2. If you're gonna do them, get a fully loaded sidewall. I'm not big enough to run double down and you know, Kushcore, I, I just can't sell myself on $100 a rim 
and uh, throw an extra weight in it. When I was a kid, we used to uh, make fun of people who run those foam inner tubes. Remember those? Those foam inner tubes that you'd put in, uh, in BMX tires uh, just so you didn't get a flat from a nail. And uh, now it seems like everybody wants to run the foam inserts, and um, I'm just not sold on it. Anyway, I am going to be headed up to the uh, Sedona Mountain Bike Festival in March and maybe doing some South Mountain rides as well. Haven't been to South Mountain in a long time. Uh, Ken at AZ uh, Dirt Life, Henry at War Within MTB. Um, you guys know that I haven't been out there in a while. So uh, hit me up. Let's go for a ride. I promise I'm going to show. And uh, hey, we'll tear it up. See you guys in Sedona. Out.